Welcome back to this clown's garage. In this video, I will be changing out this mechanical fan and putting in an electric fan. So, let's begin. Now we're gonna take the, this fan off the water pump pulley here. These are half inch bolts, uh, sorry, nuts. And this car we're doing this on is a second generation Camaro. So anything from uh, 70 to 81 fiber touch Camaro, it's the same procedure. So we can go ahead and take these off. Take this one off. And the last one here. All right, now I take the fan off. Just tap a little bit over here. It should come right off. And just pull that right out. Now I'm going to put the nuts back on, the pulley over there. I'm going to use some red thread locker and a washer on each nut. Now if this turns, just put a little flathead here to hold it in place. And do the same on the rest. And you're done. Okay, what usually people do on this car is they put a third generation Camaro uh, top over here with the fan electric fan, it's a conversion that they do. They cut this and they pretty much mount it here. But if you do that, then you have no shroud down here. So what we want to do is mount that electric fan from a third gen Camaro in here with this shroud. All right, now I'm gonna take these two bolts out here, one here, one there. It's a half inch bolt. Now this whole shroud comes right out. Okay, now we put this radiator shroud on the bench here. This over here is the radiator part. And this is a puller fan, so you want the fan in front of the radiator. Uh, some people mount pusher fans. If you put a pusher fan, it should be in front of the radiator, in front of the car, not over here. Uh, what I do in my car is I have a puller fan, and I have a pusher fan as a backup, just in case the puller fan motor goes. I have a switch to manually turn on the backup fan in the front, which is a pusher fan. So over here, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to mount this like this. And I'm just going to put some uh, custom brackets here to so put these ears on it. And what I'm going to use to make those brackets are this thing right here. It's 1 inch by 3 16 aluminum flat stock. So we're going to cut this, bend it, and put bolts through here to hold this in place. All right, now I put a piece of flat stock here, and as you can see the ear over here. Now I want the same space from here to here to bend this over, just like my camera goes doing right now. So I'm gonna put a mark here, and from here to here it's an inch, an inch and a half. So let's mark this where it's at now. And I just gotta go inch and a half up. So when I make the angle over there, it's going to go flat on this. All right, so about an inch and a half. We're going to make that first cut over there and that bend over there. Wear your safety glasses and commence cutting. Okay, now we're going to bend it at this line. Now we're going to make a hole right here, I'll drill that. Alright, so it's going to go like this. And we're going to mount it over here. Okay. 
You can make a hold over there. Make the mark. Right, now that you made the hole over there, I'm going to put some white out there. And make the hole over there. Drill away. All right, so we're gonna put the first bolt in. On the top, the washer, and the nut. That's good. And now for the shroud side, pop that in. Over here, pop this in right there. And washer. And nut. Tighten that down. And you're good. All right, so now we mocked up to the car. That's the bracket we just put in. And you see everything clears nicely. And move this a little more front if you want to. The blade doesn't touch anything. And over here, we have plenty of space. Same thing on this side now. Okay, now over here, I'm gonna make a hole right here. That's good. And you're done. Okay, now we do these brackets. Just gonna mark it here. Gonna make a bend right here. Now I'm gonna bend this over like that to the right. Alright, so that's a nice fit right there. I'm gonna make my holes and drill through. And we're good. And we're good. So this is what it looks like. And that's facing the engine. All right, now with this fan, we're gonna use the Direlli uh, fan controller, 180 degree single stage electric fan controller, part number 16720. And this is what it comes with. It comes with a thermal switch, adapters, you can put this thermal switch in. It has a 25 continuous amp max capacity relay. It's got some extension wire here. This is, I think, to extend the ignition hot source to the relay. And a 30 amp fuse. And this is the harness for the relay. So we're going to go ahead and install this now. Now to put the thermal switch in, we're going to put it over here in the intake manifold. So that's a 3 8 drive pipe plug. Ah, there we go. Alright, now what we're going to do here is, we're going to take this out and we're going to put this thermostat housing in, this water neck, from Spectre. I got this from AutoZone real quick now. Because uh, we're running out of time here and we get to get this. Uh, this is 42303. We're going to put this in here to change the orientation of this radiator hose. 
because it's in the way of our pipe plug here that we took out. That's a 5 16 right there. We take that off the hose, the bank clamp, the hose clamp. Got to break that seal. That's satisfying. All the way around. All right, now we're going to take the water neck off. Those are 916 bolts. Now in the kit, they only give you a 3 8 sensor adapter and a 1 8 sensor adapter. Now this here is a half inch NPT pipe plug. So we need an adapter. We need half inch NPT male to a 3 8 inch female adapter, brass pipe adapter. We get this from Lowe's, we get it from Home Depot or any hardware store. So that's what we need to thread in this sensor. So I'm just going to go put a thread sealant on these threads. I'm going to use some thread sealant. You can also use Teflon tape here, but I like this stuff. And thread this in. Now put the adapter in. All right, now thread in the thermal switch by hand. Bolt in the thermostat housing. It's a bit of a tight fit here, but it's late at night, so we have no other option. We're gonna change that housing some other time. And we're good. So we painted it. This is what it looks like. Looks stock, baby. Let's put this bad boy in. It's in. So catch the bolts. good and that's good all right so we're going to use the relay from the kit with a self-tapping screw that's not in the kit this is my self-tapping screw and we're going to put it in this lip here in the right front fender so I'm going to do that now and we're good now I'm going to put the harness on the relay. <clears throat> All right. All right, now we're going to connect the harness to the fan. And now we're going to zip tie this over here and around the shroud over there. All right, now what we can do is we also zip tied these over here. We're gonna zip tie some more, put some wire loom, but for now, we're gonna just do it like that. Uh, we're gonna put a buck connector here on this negative side of the fan to this wire here that we have. We're gonna extend it and put it to the battery. So go ahead and do that now. Put a buck connector here. Shrink rack wrap, put it over that. Go ahead and crimp this down now over here. Tug, good. Grab the negative side. Tug, you good. And now you shrink that. And 
that's good. We're going to put a spade connector and put it straight to the battery here. We have one of those spade connectors on the battery here. So you just pop this in. Yeah, that's good. Now the black wire from the relay, that's the ground. Alright, bolt here. We sanded the underneath over here. And we'll just test it with a test light. And it's a good ground. Now the orange from a relay goes to the power from the fan. Now the red wire from the relay goes straight to the battery positive. All right, the yellow wire coming out of the relay, we extended it with this white wire all the way here to the switch. And the kit supplies you with these spade connectors here. So just put that here. All right, so what I did here is, this is a 12 volt switched source, and this also feeds the choke. It's on its own circuit on a fuse block, and I tapped into it. I pretty much uh, put one buck connector here, one wire, this is going to the fuse block, and these two, one for the choke, and one is gonna go here to the thermal switch with another spade connector. So Now everything is done and these wires are going to be in a loom. We're going to switch this on the other side of the head when we do the heads on this car. Alright, so that's how everything looks. We have good clearance here. When the fan's going to start up, we filled it up with coolant and everything is where it's supposed to be. The relay is in there. If you can see, right in there. But all those wires are going to be in a wire loom. So this is just now so we can start it, make sure everything works properly. And go ahead and start it now. Shut off at 169, the fans just shut off. So it starts at 195 around there and it shuts off at 169 ish. So that's not bad. That's pretty good. So I'm happy with this install. Everything looks good. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel, like me, and share me. Sayonara.